Just look at the height of it. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. I'll try it. Jacob, he doesn't even ride scooters anymore, but let's see if he still got double, double tail to cross the flat. Right, Jacob, you got it. Yes. So he's trying like ages something like that. It's really good, bro. Nice job. I'm gonna try a DK thing with. So doing a DK, and then the other thing with. I've tried this trick several times before, but I never really like, got too close. So it's had a problem matter. Whenever I come around here, the thing whip puts on the back. It's so annoying. So I'm going to give it a few tries, because for some reason I'm just feeling it today. So let's go ahead and try it. Yo, I got it. That was a real technical trick. Oh. Still got it. Okay, so Jacob's gonna try triple whip flat. This is one of his dream tricks to land. Ja, va? Du har det för fan. Ja, för jag antar det va? What? Yeah, like, ja like Jacob has have wanted to land this trick for years. So I think he finally can get it. Come on, Jacob. See you again. It's fucking close. <laughs> what? Come on! You're fucking close! Yeah, I've been really close before, but you haven't yeah, I mean have never done it. Just been able to do it like down some stairs, small banks. Let's see if we get it. What the fuck? Okay, so since Jacob started to work out with me, he has gone a lot stronger. Ah. ah! Come on, Jacob, you're so close! You're so close! Ah! <laughs> no! It is not us! It is not us! It is not us! What the fuck? What the? Give me a hug! Give me a hug! Give me a hug! What? What the fuck? It has been a fucking ride! Literally haven't been riding for like two years. Yeah, that was like the cleanest one I've seen in person. Okay, not real, but that was insane. I don't know what to say. Fuck yeah! Awesome! buy something to drink and then uh, I will have a little talk so see you guys in a second this is actually where I live so it's a pretty cool house so this statue here is the reason why I can do like all the sick worlds first let's go inside here 
Wait, door is unlocked. Hello. Wow, it's actually really creepy. I really hope we are alone in here. So there's like no hobo up here. Okay, so here is my uh, food tank here. It's pretty big, but I really need it because I eat a lot of food. And here is my parents' room in here. They got really mad before, so they smashed this bed here. Uh, it felt a little bit better to ride today than did last time. But uh, my motivation is still really, really low, so I still might have to take some time off. Because when you lose motivation, you lose that like inner flame. So if you don't have that flame, you know, like, it's almost impossible to, I mean, to really push the limits. But to regain that that spark, um, I think I just need to take some more time off. But I will still make like small insta edits every now and then so i'm not officially quitting like i think i never will 100 quit scootering but i really feel like i need to take a break now because honestly i think it's really boring <laughs> so like the years 2010 11 12 i ride alone outside all the time and i enjoyed it so much but now some a few years later it's just not the same thing anymore. But I will feel that when I have someone in with, somebody with me, like Jacob or like some other friends, it's just so much more, so much more fun to ride. Okay, so like they don't have to ride; just need to be, be with me, have some fun. You know, it just makes it so much more fun and interactive. But if you're not motivated to ride or to do what whatever you do, don't do it. Don't do it. Take some time off and regain your spark. It's really important because if you just keep on going out and force yourself to do what you used to love, it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get way worse. In the beginning of 2016 when I got back to scootering, I uh, started doing like a lot of insane tricks. And, like whenever I, I uh, learned something new, I, I, like, I got really, really happy. It was that like, sweet sensation and like dopamine release, you know? Nej, aj, eller kan man ta med det? Ja, Nej, ingen, ingen fattar det, alltså, det är bara små Så so back then, it was a real fun experience to learn all these tricks. But as you keep doing that all the time, it's really emotionally draining to do the same thing over and over again. Like, it doesn't really matter what trick it is. Like, flat ramp, it doesn't really matter. Like, I had this feeling so many times, so whenever I do something insane, like these days, I just don't appreciate it the same way I used to. And that, that's a big problem because it kind of makes me not enjoy scootering the way I used to. Nowadays, I feel that my purpose is to motivate and inspire new people to do what I do, or is to ride scooters in general, to work out, like just improve your life. So I will just keep uploading, but just so you guys know, that's kind of how I feel right now. When I started scootering, in uh, 2009 I was horrible like I wasn't gifted at all I was I wasn't really good like the fun thing is like Jacob he he learned like tail whip before me yeah that's actually crazy and he learned triple flat today okay so Jacob why did you lose motivation back in like 2013 right yeah it was like 2014 or something I think because I didn't learn any new tricks and I think most riders who are you know really good at scootering they're always ambitious to learn new things so i yeah. think that if you you can kind of like plateau you never learn anything new so it, and it will drain you in the end you will lose all motivation yes but if you, if you feel like that you should take a break and then you should try to come back stronger just learn something new because it will give you a lot of motivation exactly me landing triple tail whip today i feel like i want to start riding again just yeah. from that yeah. trick because exactly. i've it's been so long since i learned something new yeah. so yeah i think that's exactly. the most important what do you do if you get plateaued, plateaued like uh, Jacob did? Let's say you are you were in his scenario where you uh, can do double wheel flat real good, but you've been trying triple wheel flat for like ages and you just can't get it. What do you do? Um, <laughs> well, try to learn some other fun tricks just to keep my motivation going, and then take a little break from the triple whip, and then like one day when you, when you just really feel it like Jacob did today like last time he tried it he wasn't even close but today he was really feeling it so 
that's how I did it. That's so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that you really, and and that you learned something from my little speech right here, and from Jacob. Like use Jacob as a motivation. He worked really hard for triple flats back in the days, and now I finally got it some years after. So yeah, but uh, I don't know when I will upload my next video. It's probably gonna be in maybe one or two weeks because I will go uh, on a little vacation right now. Probably not taking a scooter with me because simply just not feeling it right now. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, check out my new Insta, Insta clip that's coming out tonight. Bye.